Hello and welcome to Cook UK. My name is David and today I'm going to show you how to cook pan grilled swordfish. So before we start let's just go through the ingredients that we've got for the recipe and they are very simple. The first ingredient is a good portion of swordfish. This is a bit larger than we would normally use. This is 250 grams and just a little bit over an inch thick or it's about three and a half centimetres thick. Uh, the reason why we bought it is because it was on special offer from the fishmonger and it was under half price. But normally we'd use a steak that was about 200 grams and was about two and a half centimetres or one inch thick. Now all we're going to do to this is we've already patted it dry. We then brush it with oil and then sprinkle on some salt and pepper, just a light sprinkling on both sides. So that's our swordfish. We then need a tablespoonful of olive oil to fry it in. Now we don't want to use a virgin olive oil because we're going to fry it on a, quite a, a reasonably high heat and virgin olive oil can burn if you fry it on too high a heat. So the best thing to do is to use regular olive oil or vegetable oil. So that's our oil there. That's our salt and pepper that we're going to use to sprinkle on the swordfish. Here we've got the juice of one, a half a lemon. That's going to be used in our sauce with the chopped parsley. We've got a tablespoon, table and a half spoonful of chopped flat leaf parsley. And we've got about a tablespoonful of butter here. So the lemon juice, the parsley and the butter are going to be used for our sauce. And that's it. We've kept it simple because pan frying swordfish, um, the swordfish is the main taste of the meal and we want to keep it that way. So let's get on with cooking our pan fried swordfish. So for cooking, what we've done is we put our frying pan on a medium high heat, put in the oil and we've let that heat up for about a minute and a half so it's fully heated through. So that's a medium high heat. We sprinkled some salt and pepper on our swordfish steak and basically all we do is put it in. Now just keep the steak moving around for the first minute or so and set your timer for four minutes because what we're going to do is we're going to cook the swordfish steak on one side for four minutes flip it over and then cook it on the other side for two and a half to three minutes and that will basically be it at the same time we've heated up our serving plates in the oven below here so when we take the steak out and cook the sauce, which will take literally 30 seconds or so, um, the plate will be warm we can put our steak on it and then pour the sauce over it. So we'll leave that cooking for four minutes on this side, we'll then flip it over, two and a half minutes on the other side, and then we'll get back to you and show you how to cook the lemon and parsley sauce. So, our swordfish is now finished cooking, so we'll take it out of this dish, this frying pan, and put it on that pre-warm plate there. We're going to pour away the olive oil, not the olive, yeah, the olive oil. And add the butter. So we're just going to wait until that melts, which will literally take 10 more seconds. There it is. Turn off the heat. In our case, we'll have to remove it from the heat because um, we've got an electric oven. Pour in the lemon juice. Oh. 
out the parsley. Give it a good stir around and literally don't let it stay in there any longer than I'm going to because the green colour from the parsley will go. Done. And then we're going to pour that out onto our grilled swordfish like that. Perfect grilled swordfish. Let's just zoom in on that. Absolutely delicious. If you want any more information about this recipe, including the exact amounts, then simply go to www.cookuk.co.uk where you'll find lots of helpful advice, pictures and the full recipe.